I was just popping up. Just let a couple people come in first. Hello. I just um was coming on live to let everyone know that the video of me um, telling the truth, my side of the story is, I'm recording it right now. And I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, it's not about, I'm not doing this out of spite. It's just about having the truth out there. And the real story. And yeah, I just want the truth to be out there. I feel like I, I got painted as the bad guy when I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the victim. This is just a re a lot to this story, and I guess I'll I'll tell my side, which is the truth. So, yes, um, the video will be dropping on my YouTube channel. Um, so just stay tuned, and if you guys like have any questions or anything, like don't you know, don't be afraid to ask me, but. Like, please, like, stop saying that I'm, like, this leech and I, I did this and that because you guys don't know the true story or how, like, I was put in this position. Um, so, yeah, just, uh, I, de I guess just give me, just give me a chance. Just listen to me, listen to my story. And, yeah, all right. Hello. Uh, Trying to send it to my computer. Alrighty. Oh my one second. Okay. So I got some food. Yo, I love Uber Eats like so much. Uh, I legit get Uber Eats like every day. Every day. This is my second time today getting some food. I got I had sushi for breakfast. Now I got chicken and broccoli. I love it. It's delicious. Are you gonna talk about AK? Yes. Let's talk about whatever, honestly. Like, let's just have it all out there. And I'm gonna be brutally honest. Um, yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, guys. Fuck AK, you deserve better. Exactly. And that's why, like, I broke up with him because I know, like, I deserve better because, like, I'm not even trying to be, like, narcissistic or anything like that. Because, like, I know what I bring to the table. Like, I'm so good to him. I'm loyal. Like, I'm sweet. I clean. Like, I do his laundry, I cook, like, I'm everything a man would want in a woman, like, how my mom raised me to be a woman, and I just, like, I broke up with him because, like, I was just tired of just, like, all the lies, all the tricks, just, like, I feel like I was putting so much in and not getting out, and as a woman, like, that's something that, like, if you, like, when you love somebody and all they do is just, like, lie and deceive you, like, that shit really hurts you mentally. And, like, the thing that really, like, got me, like, this man ain't shit. I was in the hospital for a week. And he did not visit me or call me. He did not visit me or call me. When I called him and I asked him to pick me up, he didn't even, like, he didn't even do that. He just stayed at home playing Fortnite. And, like, it was at that moment that I was just, like, yo, like, I love him so much, but at this point, it's, like, you're just done at that point. Like, you're done. 
You're done. I was sick. You weren't there when I needed you. I needed you. I had nobody. I moved out here to be with you. And you just did that. Like, you didn't even come visit me in the hospital. And, like, I'm going through something. And I'm there because of you. I just want to be with somebody that reciprocates my love. I mean, that actually, like, cares about me. Like, genuinely. And just, like. This is honest with me. I don't care about the clout. I don't care about the money. Now, now you can say whatever you want about me. Oh, Angelica, you this and that. I'm not a clout chaser. I'm a dream chaser. Big difference. I'm a dream chaser. I never, ever exposed AK ever. Ever. Never. No matter what he did to me. And there are things. There. Oh, my God. He's done so much to me. That if I if I really go into detail of our relationship, we've been together for more than a year. If I really go into the detail of our relationship, you guys would be like, like, wow. So for him to sit there and expose me and say I'm broke, I'm living off him, all of this thing, that, that really hurt my heart because I am not... I've never been a gold digger. I've never had a sugar daddy. I've never had like somebody that I'm just like, yo, like I want to use yo. My DMs, I couldn't even show you guys receipts. Guys are just like, yo, like what I gotta do? Like I gotta show you like, 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 like how much money I make a year to fuck with me. I'm just like, yo, I'm not a gold digger. Like that's not what I'm. I fuck with vibes. Like I fuck with vibes. I fuck with people who I feel can help me achieve my goals. You know, like what I want to come you know, doing life and things of that sort. So, for him to sit there and make it seem like I'm just like this, no, like, my mom was a single woman with four kids. She would work, she worked at a factory and she worked hard for everything she got, like, my mom never had to wait and ask for a man, wait for a man to do this and that for her, like, and that's the mentality that I got, like, everything I got in life, I work for it, everything, AK does not pay my bills, he does not pay for my Ubers, my Uber Eats, my mother's rent, none of that, so me and AK, we moved in together, you know, it so much like I didn't get into like the really dirt details of my life because like I'm all of that will be on my on the YouTube video that I'm dropping but when I came out here I was like under the impression like you know we're gonna build together like you know he was gonna help me he was gonna put me in a position to win put me in a position to get money Put me in a position, you know, to help me like achieve my dreams, my goals. He know he knew what I wanted to do. My he knew what I had in mind and everything. And so I get here and it was just totally different. Like he legit like he told me, look, when you come out here, like we're gonna be in a relationship because like I didn't want to like move move in with him like if we weren't like serious like if we was just like on some like yo you just live with me that like, type shit like I wanted that shit to be official I wanted that shit to just you know be like yo you're just with me I'm just with you no he did not ask me to be his girlfriend until June 24th 2018 and that's not that long ago that's not that long ago so basically, he basically just like had me here, just like in house pussy. That's how I see it, and that's what he said too before. Like, oh, I got in house pussy. Like, like it was not. It's not supposed to be like. How dare you? How dare you? Like, no. So many things. Like, AK is abusive mentally and physically. I have the receipts to show. AK has put me through a lot. The reason why I'm depressed and I have to take medications to feel happy is because of AK.
he's a monster like when i see ak i just see a demon i legit see a demon because like i know who he is nobody knows who he is like i'm the last person he should have ever had the audacity to expose because i know you like you know you could say whatever you want about me but it can never amount to you know what i know about you i know who you are he's never went to war with somebody who knows who he is it was always with somebody that just knowed him from the internet i i lived with the man that was my man He's a liar, a manipulator, a dream seller. Any girl that comes around him, he sells them a dream just so he can fuck them. He will not make a move on any any girl that's been around AK will say it too. He will not make a move on you until he gets you drunk. It's point blank period. He's not going to initiate any type of sexual activity until after you're drunk. That is just so, like, pervy to me. No, I don't that was very pervy. Like, I bet you, ladies, ladies, AK is not a hard man to get to. I promise you. You guys can all slide in his DMs, and he will respond. He can be like, yo, like, link, link up. He's going to send you a uber get your hotel he will fuck you like he has like no like filter when it comes to like the type of woman he likes he will legit fuck anybody and he will fuck everybody raw like there was an incident where like this girl hit me up she was like oh i fucked your nigga blah 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 so you know like i was like what's up like you know we started talking whatever i called her and she was like Oh, I fucked him. Blah, 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 blah. He threw me out. Yo. I was like, so did, did you guys use a condom? Like, no. Like, how do you not use a condom with a with a girl that you just met? Like, are you serious? Like, for you to think, like, and you're living with me. And you know that we are having unprotected sex. And for you to go out there and have unprotected sex with random strangers says a lot about who he is. Because that is not, like... That doesn't make sense. Like, I would never. If I just met a guy, I would never. <sighs> no. <sighs> There's just so much. Like, like I legit have to record it. I've, I've already made the video. I've already made it. I just gotta upload it i'll be uploading it to my youtube channel and that video will have the uncensored full truth of my relationship with dj academics fucking demon <sighs> if ak didn't have clout you wouldn't do the look it's not about him having clout or not. How I saw it is like I had my own dreams and what I wanted to achieve. And it only made sense for me to like partner, be with somebody who I felt supported my dreams and what I wanted to accomplish. And that's what AK made himself seem like he was. Sorry. And that's what AK made it seem like that he was going to do for me. That he really believed in me and what I wanted to do. But it was just a dream that he used to just get with me. He took advantage of like what I wanted. What like he knew like what I wanted and he just used that to his advantage. I feel finesse, honestly. I've been in an abusive relationship. It gets better, love. It's a great thing you got out. Yes, it is. It is a great thing that I got out. And I just, like, wanted to be strong, like, for myself because, you know, I just, it's a waste of time to 
be with somebody that is isn't truly for you or if you're the one that's putting in all the effort in the relationship and you're the one that you know is doing everything to make things work like at the end is it's just it doesn't feel like it just feel like you're not really getting like rewarded like like what you should be doing like i wanted loyalty i wanted you to just be with me i want i guess i just wanted him for myself and he li he would lie to me and be like yo i'm just with you i'm not with anybody else and i would always find out otherwise i would always find out otherwise why are you exposing him when he had you living rent free yeah that's, that's something that i get a lot why are you doing this he had you living rent free he did this and that for you like if you guys are seeing it from that point of view it's very one-sided it's very it, that's very one-sided because there's a lot of things i've done for ak i bit myself backwards for him and him being a man he makes a decent amount of money from everyday struggle that i will say he makes a good amount of money on everyday struggle so for like for him like he wants to pay the rent like that's he he was and it wasn't just with me before like me and him got together he was paying the rent for the girl that he was staying with as well like that's just i guess that's just his way of thinking i guess that's just like what he wants to do i guess that's what makes him feel like you know the man of the house like you know i pay the bills and stuff like that like but that doesn't mean like I wasn't I was just sitting on my ass all day like and I didn't contribute to anything because I would buy groceries. I would buy AK gifts. I, I got AK this painting for like six hundred dollars for his birthday, you know? So and it lights up. I clean, I cook, I do everything a woman should because like i i felt it like hey okay so since like you know you are paying the rent like the least i can do being grateful is contribute you know how i can like that's what i did like if i showed you guys around the house right now it's clean it's clean like i i don't just be lounging around just doing nothing like look wait let me see how, how do i flip this Okay, so yeah, there's there's two in there, but look, that's just like that was for me from like today I was making a video. But look, this shit is not dirty. And 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 look at our closet. I do. I do laundry. I make the bed every day. Like our shit not dirty. And it's not dirty because of me. Like, see, I organize, like, all his clothes. Like, I be having him, like, you know, nice and tidy. Like, for him to sit there and, like, that was just so ungrateful. Like, yo, I got his shit color-coordinated. His clothes is color-coordinated. Sweaters. White sweaters. These sweaters. Thinner, like, jackets. Thinner sweaters. And then just, like, random stuff, like... Like, why you had to make it seem like I'm just, like, just leeching off you? I'm just, like, okay, yeah, I, I'm i not part of society. Like, I'm going to let you guys know that now. Like, yeah, I do sleep all day, and I'm up all night. But it's, like, I don't have, I don't work a nine-to-five job. Like, I have a private Snapchat, and I make, I make a good amount of money on that. Like, I make a good amount of money on that. You can subscribe, ggxsnaps.com. So for him to sit there and be like, I don't do shit, I do a lot of shit, and on top of that, like, I'm a finesser, like, I'm a finesser, like, what I mean by that, like, if, like, I haven't been broke since the last time I said, this is the last time I'm gonna be broke, and that was, like, three years ago. Yo, when I was in Michigan, when I had to make rent, or I needed some extra money, yo, I would flip furniture, I would do this and that, I would do everything. But I never sold pussy, just so you know. Like, people, blah, 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 never, never on that shit. I always worked for what I had, y'all. I worked at a bank. I worked HR for a cleaning company. Like, I'm not just a lazy girl that just doesn't do anything. Like, that's not me. I'm a hard worker. 
I, I'm ambitious, I have dreams, I'm artistic. <sighs> so it really broke my heart that he would go out there and say that make me seem like someone that I'm not. Like, are you really that mad? Like, how can you be mad? Like, I told AK, I was like, AK, if you really loved me, you would just let me go. Because you know everything you put me through. You know everything. You know how that shit makes me feel. Like, you know. You know. Like, just let me, if you really love me, you would just let me go. And I, I, I told him I was going to leave at the end of the month. At the end of December, I'm getting my own apartment. I'm moving out. This and that. So, yeah, that's why, like, I started talking to Tracy and doing all of that. And he just blew up. Like, now he doesn't want me to leave. He wants me to stay with him. He wants to work things out. He doesn't want me with nobody else. But it's like, how can you say that after treating me like trash? Like, how can you say that? Like, why are you switching up your energy? Mm. whatever people just like he knows and he told me himself that he'll never find somebody better than me and it's true it is true because i know what i bring to the table like i'm like probably like a once in a lifetime type of like person you know he would ever have in his life because everybody's always is just like always interested in something else they're clout chasing they're just doing something else and i never clout chased, chased ak Ever. I was with him. They're not caught chasing. We didn't have a serious relationship. We had genuine feelings for each other. But he asked me to come on his stream. I never caught chasing, even when I was with him. I never asked him to post me on his page. I never asked him to go live with me. None of that shit. So don't sit there and call me a cloud chaser. I'm not a cloud chaser. I'm just a life. And no, I just have I just live a life. And I have clout. And people around me have clout. And that's just what it is. Like, I'm planning this shit. I'm be like, yo, today, I'm going to meet who, 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 who. It just happens. Like, and it's like, even like, I'll be around people with no clout. And like, I love that. Like, I love people who are just normal people. Because I'm not really around that like that. Like, that to me is just so, like, beautiful to me. Because, like, my happiest times in my life was when I didn't have clout. When I was just a normal girl from Michigan and I would go to work every day like I was happy yo like I felt like I was like had things to work for and like I just felt like me like I found myself but then like coming to this whole situation moving somewhere totally new like I'm a very like family oriented person I'm always with family like I don't really be around friends I'm always with my family I have a big family I have sisters and I would always be with them and so, like, coming to New Jersey and just, you know, never being around family, just around people. And, like, a lot of the people that would come around me were just always fake. Always fake. And, like, weren't genuine. And that, to me, like, really, like, took a toll on me. But you guys got to watch my YouTube video because that has all the details. There's some of the things, but... Since AK wants to go out, I'm saying, I'm saying lies and make me seem like somebody I'm not. He wants to make me seem like somebody I'm not. And he wants to live a life making himself seem like someone he. So I'm going to expose who he truly is. And it will be a warning for all the girls that he tries to trick. So please. Please just, you guys, I know I have a lot of men followers. I have more men followers than women followers. So I would understand how, you know, you guys take it more to heart, like hearing like, oh, this woman took advantage of him blah 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 like i understand like you know but it's i promise you it's not like that i'm not that person i don't 
take it. I don't, I don't, that's not what I want in life. I don't, I, I want to give myself stability. The stability that I can give myself is so much more valuable than stability a man can give me because nobody can take it from me. A man can easily take it from me. So, yeah, guys, it's pretty much what it is. Um, any questions? I didn't really cover everything because, like, I'll be dropping it on my video, the details. But at the same time, like, I feel really uncomfortable, like, being put in this position where, like, I feel like I have to expose him because I never wanted to. I never wanted to do that. And if you guys have been following me since day one, you guys know I'm not the type to expose people, to put people out. Like, I don't get a thrill out of that. I'm like, time would just, time would just like, karma. I believe really, I believe in karma. I believe like, everything he did to me, he's going to end up paying for it. So... I never wanted to, like, you know, be the one, like, hey, you know, I'm going to do this and that to you, get you back. <sighs> but it is what it is. Sometimes, like, people just push you to the edge that makes you have to, like, act out of character. It's whatever, though. My YouTube channel is Angelica GGX. I bet AK loved your personality. Yeah, he did. Like, honestly, I genuinely do feel that AK did love me. Like, he really did love me. And he did love me, but just the way he loved me, my opinion isn't love. Because... If I love somebody, if they were in a hospital for seven days, I would be at the hospital every day. Calling, did you eat? How are you feeling? Do you need anything? I would be the first one at the door for visiting hours. I would be the last one at the door when it closes. I would be bringing you things every day. Like, to me, that's love. And, like, it was, like, at that moment that I realized that whatever his love was worth, it really wasn't worth a lot. I guess not I think about it, he really didn't love me. No, he didn't love me. Because when it came down to it, he wasn't really there. AK never got me pregnant. I was never pregnant. Those were just rumors. I was never pregnant. I never, I didn't get an abortion. I was not pregnant. AK wanted to have children with me, but I didn't want to have kids because I'm young. I'm just too young. I want to live my life first. Like, I need, I, I don't want to be a baby mama. Like, I don't want to be a baby mama. I don't want to live off child support. I, I need to secure the bag first before I decide to have a family. And I want to be married first. Like, I don't want to have a baby daddy. I want to have a husband. And I want that person to genuinely... Like, I want a family. Like, I want a family. I didn't have a family. And I want a family. And I'm... You live one life, and that's what I want. I want... I just want someone real, something genuine. <laughs> I'm I, I'm actually not on Wi-Fi, actually. So you know, I'm not. It was going too slow. My dad is quicker.
Hmm. Going to better be cool. Yeah, no, everything is, is going to get better. I know that for a fact. Because, like, I'm a good person and, like, with genuine intentions. And, like, I don't do anything. I don't, I don't attract bad things. Like, I'm just... That's not what I'm on. I know everything's going to get better. I know I got a bright future. I know I will be successful. And by the time I'm 25, I will be rich. I mark, mark my words now. By the time I'm 25, I will be rich. <laughs> yeah pretty much guys I have some questions Let me turn on this light. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Merry Christmas. Angelica, what's good? You going on tour with Tracy? Yes. I'm going to pop up to a couple of the shows that he will be visiting. So you might see me. If you see me, say hello. I'm nice. Where's Tracy? In New York. I just got off the phone with him. He said he was taking a nap. Are you going to post on your premium snap? Yes. Accept the life. No. Thank you. Uh, you gonna respect this? Well, you know, you should have added him to. The Anyways, um, have I ever done drugs? No. Um, I've done, well, I can't say no, 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 because I've, okay, so I've, I, I smoked weed, and I, I've tried molly water, but I'm not, I never do drugs. Like, I'm not just, I'm not into drugs, I haven't done anything except for that. So, Yeah. Just weed, and I don't really consider weed a drug, because, like, I feel like there's so many, like, health benefits to weed, and it's, like, you know, it's lit. AK gonna get clapped because of you. He better duck. <laughs> Heard you good at work, now you better crouch. Jackie, you a clouching and then put that on dead looks. <laughs> BDX fake depressed. Oh, I'm depressed. I'm clinically diagnosed depressed. But I take medicine to feel happy. It's kind. It it really sucks because it's like a synthetic happiness. Like it's like not real. I kind of feel like it's like just living a lie. Like when I don't 
take it like i start to feel all my feelings and like the medicine just kind of like keeps me from feeling my feelings hmm. depression is no joke it for real it's something a lot of people go through and it's you just need want to find help and because it's like it's like you're in a mental prison and you can't break free. Get off them drugs and deal with the pain, GG. Deal. I've tried to deal with the pain. And it got to a point where I was just in a really dark place. And I was just... I just wasn't myself. And, like, I missed what it felt to be happy. Like, I would be... I would travel. And I would be, like, in an environment where I'm supposed to have fun. And, like, I legit couldn't have fun. Like, I couldn't enjoy the moment. And it got to the point where I was like, yo, I need help. Like, I need help. I need to take pills. I need something, medicine, just so that can get me out of this. And since then, like, I've been way better way better i still have my times where i'm feeling down but it's getting better mm -hmm. sending positive vibes thank you really really appreciate that like i appreciate and i love everybody that shows me love and uh, spreads love and positivity because it's always easier to be mean and a bully than it is to be a kind person so if you're kind and you're just spreading love and positivity like thank you like i really appreciate that a lot especially like at this time now because like i've honestly never had like this much haters like just like keep up with me like that and I mean, like, it's really whatever, like, I get it, like, I'm on the internet and stuff, but I just fuck with everybody that spreads love. <laughs> Chanel Jules. Looking real, just dance and be happy and hungry. Yeah, no, I love weed, honestly. I don't really smoke it. I probably haven't smoked weed in, like, two months. I don't know. I'm just, like, always with myself. Why is AK so mean to little Tracy? AK's an asshole. Like, an asshole. Like, an asshole. Crazy asshole. Yes, I will be active again on my premium. I'll post something today. AK is stupid. Yeah, he is stupid. I'm very stupid. I'm so happy like I met Tracy because Tracy has been there like when I when I really needed a friend and I really needed someone to talk to, he's been there for me. When I was like having mental breakdowns, he was there for me and like whenever I uh, he's always there for me. I can call him. He'll answer. Like, if I need anything, he's there for me. Like, I really appreciate that, like, in a friendship. Like, he's, like, a real one. And you don't really meet too much people like that. So, like, Tracy's very special to me. And I care a lot about him. Tracy's my bestie. My best friend. My best, best friend. <laughs> How I met Uzi? No. Uzi name dropped me in a song, though. Well, yeah, guys. So, pretty much... Tracy got a song for Jasmine. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Do you see you and AK working it out before you move out? 
you know, we, we talked about that. Like, if we wanted to work things out and, like, just work things out. But I don't really feel like it's worth it. Like, he's not going to change. He says he's going to change and that he wants to be with me. But I'm just tired of wasting my time. Like, I, I invested so much time, so much energy. And I just, I always give him a chance and I end up being disappointed. So, I'm just, I just got to be strong and just keep it moving. And I deserve better. And I never settle for less than what you deserve, ever. If you feel like that person isn't good enough for you, if you feel like that person isn't treating you how you should be treated, don't settle for less. Because the world is so big and there's so many people out there who, who will love you and treat you right. I just want someone that reciprocates my love and that's genuine and like, cares for me I don't want somebody that just lies to me and, and plays me and tells me one thing and does another I want somebody who who wants who lives their truth some I, I want someone real I need someone real Say reciprocate five times five. Reciprocate, 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 reciprocate. <laughs> reciprocate, 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 reciprocate. Yeah. No, for sure. Like, you was ready for commitment, but AK wasn't. No, he. What I feel is like when me and AK got together, he wasn't, he didn't really, he wasn't getting bitches at all, no bitches, but, like, once me and him got together, all of the girls saw, like, you know, what that did for me, and they saw, like, they just wanted to be in my position, so once they saw, like, you know, me with AK, everybody all of a sudden wanted him, he started, like, girls actually started to, like, talk to him because like of course like if like a bad bitch is fucking with a nigga like that's a good look like people are just gonna be like oh wow like the bad bitch is fucking with him like what's up with him like he must got money he must got this and that and that you know so it was a good look for him and like i guess that just really got to his head and he just really he i guess he just doesn't have the self-control and it was just, I guess, he just really, he wanted to indulge in that. At the same time, he wanted to be with me. So he wanted his cake, and he wanted to eat it too. Which, of course, no. If you're with me, you're with me. If you want to go do you, do you, do you. Live one life. Live one life. Don't live a dull life. Stop lying to me. Stop telling me this and that. Because I'm being truthful to you. I'm being loyal to you. I'm being genuine to you. And I'm doing that because that's what I want in return. So if you want to be disloyal and you want to go out there and indulge in, 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 in the fame and success and the women that you, you know, you can do that. But not while you're with me. You will respect me while you're with me. And you will not play me while you're with me. Plain and simple. <laughs> Seems rough right now, but do you see AK being in for the long run? What do you mean? I don't really get that. He stated that he was physically abusive, yet, why are you still in this house? It's a long story. Very long story. So, uh, the reason why I'm still here is because AK won't let me leave. 
plain and simple. He just won't let me leave. When he told me to leave, he was like, leave. I was like, okay, I'm going to leave. And then he was like, no, you you don't don't go. Like, let's work things out. And I don't know. I, I have a soft side for him still. And I've been with him for so long. I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting on my new apartment. Um, I'm out, I'll be out by the end of the month, so I'm just here for now, but it's not permanent situation. I'll be leaving at the end of the month, so, yeah. Tracy wants me to move in with him, but I want my own place, like my own apartment. I'm just ready to be me. When you post a new video... Either tomorrow or the day after, or the day after that. Before next week, the video will be dropped. You cap because if you really wanted to leave, you would have. Look, I left so many times. So many times. But it's like, AK always finds his way back to me. So, for example, when he said I extorted him. I'm going, I'm going to go more into detail about that. I did not extort AK. So what happened was, um, I went through AK's phone. I guessed his password. His password was his phone number. <laughs> and I went through his phone and I um, was looking through his camera roll and I saw videos of him having sex. Not just with one girl, but multiple women. So, like, I airdropped the videos to my phone because I was like, I'm just going to watch these videos. Like, whenever I feel like forgiving him. Because, like, I'm in love with him. Like, I'm in love. Like, you guys might, like, it's crazy. Like, oh, he does this and this and that. If you, But you guys must not know how it feels to be in love. Because when you're in love, it's like, shit is just so unexplainable. It's just unexplainable, like, as to why you let people do certain shit to you. Or why you let certain shit go so far. It's because you're in love. <sighs> well, anyway, so, I went through his phone. And I saw him, videos of him having sex, not with one girl, but multiple women. I hair dropped it to my phone so I can look back at it like, yo, like, he's so full of shit. He doesn't really love me. He's out here doing this and that and that. And, um, sorry, guys. I'm seeing my phone. We back? We back? My bad. Okay, so, so then, like, I was, like, being, like, I was just acting, like, I didn't see anything for like a whole week because like I was planning on just picking up and leaving, just disappearing and like ghosting on him, never talking to him again. And just like sending him the videos like, oh, you stupid ass. Like, look, you fucking cheated on me. I caught you, blah, 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 blah. Or not even, you know, I was even thinking about maybe not even saying shit to him, just ghosting on him and forever letting him wonder what the fuck happened, you know? But like i couldn't keep up the facade for so long he noticed that something was wrong with me something was off so he was just like begging me what's wrong with you tell me what's going on like like what's going on like are you plotting on me like what's going on so like i told him like hey i saw those videos in your phone and uh, you're a liar this and that i want to be with you um i ended up leaving and he ended up um giving me money so as a way to say hey like i'm sorry um this is for you for like whatever you need i just want to make sure like you're good and or whatever but it wasn't extortion i did not extort him he gave me that money out of his free will so I didn't, I never at one point said, like, yo, give me the money, or this and that, like, I deleted those videos, like, I'm, I would never want to do that to somebody, leak someone's sex tape, like, that's such an invasion of privacy, and I, I could never be able to live with myself, like, no, I don't know, I don't, I wouldn't gain anything from that at all, so, 
he gave me money and yeah and he begged for my forgiveness begged for my forgiveness and then told me that because we weren't official yet and he asked me to be his girlfriend and so I said yeah and I forgave him because like I said when you're in love like you do things that are just unexplainable like somebody that's not in love is just like it's easy for them to be like leave like he's not good for you and this is but then when you're in love you're like I know but then it's like you see this in him and you see that in him and then you're like oh I love him like like what if like we can make things work out in a certain way this is crazy Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys can say I'm lying or whatever. If you really believe I'm lying, you can ask him. Ask him. Ask him if it was like that. Because it was like that. He lied. I did not extort him. Ask him. Ask him. Next time he's on stream, ask him, spam it. I didn't extort him. I said, I might even hop on, on the stream and ask him on the stream. I'm not lying. I have nothing to lie about. Thank you, thank you, thanks for the prayers. I did not stay with him for the money at all. It was never about that. It was never about that. I hate when people say that, like it was not about that. It was never about that. Other than that time, AK has never given me money. Ever. No chopping sprees. Doesn't do my hair. Doesn't do my nails. Doesn't buy me gifts. Nothing. It, our relationship was just, just based off love. That's it. Nothing else. He did that out of the kindness of his heart without me asking. So... It was never about love. Ever. I mean, not love. It was about love. It was never about money. You still living at his house rent free? Okay. Me and him got a place together. We specifically got this apartment to live with each other. How's he paying my rent if he lives here as well? He uses the water. He sleeps here. He eats the food here. He uses the electricity here. How is that? It benefits us, not me. Benefits us. If I were to leave, he would still be paying rent for himself. I'm here because we're together. Like, we decided we wanted to live together. We made that decision that we wanted to move in together. And we're staying together. Like, no way around this. When you guys want to be like, oh, he's doing this and that for you. It's not, it does not only benefit me. So how could I be taking advantage of him? If it's mutual. Definitely not a leech because I too contribute to the house. When just y like yesterday, AK needed money. I gave him like three dollars to go to the vending machine. He needed cash. Like I gave him cash. Like okay, it's three dollars, but I'm just saying. And like I'll, I buy groceries. Like I've I buy groceries here more times than he has ever bought groceries here. On top of that, like I've I've spent a lot of money on gifts for him. I've given him more gifts than he's ever given me. Mm -hmm. I've paid for a dinner. When we go out to eat, I've paid for dinner. 
it's not a problem it's it it's balances it's a balanced relationship so to sit there and just be like oh you're a leech you doing this i feel like i don't fit under the definition of a leech because i'm contributing you know in a way i'm not taking advantage what he does is for us it's not for me it doesn't only benefit me he lives here as well You're his sugar mama. Not at all. I, I it's just love. Just love. I've paid for Ubers when he asked me to. Even voluntarily. For his friends. That have nothing to do with me. For his friends. I've done that multiple times. Like... When was the last time I got a paycheck? Today. Got paid on Christmas. <laughs> no, we were in love. AK, you're really rich. No. AK uh, says he's a millionaire. He's not a millionaire. He's not a millionaire. He doesn't have as much money as he wants people to believe that he does. He has problems paying bills sometimes just like everyone else. There's nothing wrong with that. But just like everyone else, he has, he struggles sometimes. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, a, a lot of people aren't rich. Like, why, why do people look down at being, like, not being rich as, like, I don't know. I mean, being broke or whatever as, like, the epitome of just just like the end of the world like oh you broke like anyone can get money anyone can get money you know like i don't i, don't, I really i that angle to me just doesn't really like get it because like sometimes like a lot of people can't control why they're broke or why because like sometimes it's like it's just it's not even your fault it's the system as to why you're broke you know maybe like you you like some people work super hard but you know they're working at jobs that only pay them so much you know but they're working hard and they're broke i feel like it's more about like how hard you work than how much like money you have in your bank account like i feel like that shouldn't define you and, and you shouldn't use that to like drag people because that's not what's important at all. I feel like what really matters is character and who a person really is. Not, I shouldn't be defined by the number of my bank account because that's not me. I came in this world with zero dollars. Like, my bank account does not define me at all. If you have a roof over your head, you're not broke. If you have a roof over your head, you're able to pay your bills, you're not broke. If you go broke paying your bills, you're not broke. Because your bills are paid. Plain and simple. Like, I feel like that's just so low and just so, like... It says a lot about a person. And especially AK. Because AK lies about how much he has. You're not a millionaire. And if you are a millionaire... Prove it. Because I've seen his bank accounts. He's not a millionaire. He doesn't even... Ha he's not even in the six figures. He's not rich. 
Like I said, he has problems paying his bills just like everyone else. Just like everyone else. I mean, yeah, you might see him, like, in foreign cars, but... Ask him what year are those cars. Keeping it real. AK doesn't even flex, though. He does flex. He does flex. AK likes to make the facade that he's this rich boss man that... He says, yeah, I have offices in New York, and I have this much people working for me, and I bought my mama a house. He did not buy his mama a house. He, his, he pays his mother's rent in an apartment. That's not buying your mama a house. I mean, much respect. I'm not trying to downplay that, but I'm just saying, like... Like, he's just, like, be making shit seem like what it really isn't. Like, you did not buy your mother a house. Like, you are renting an apartment for her. Like, chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. It's rent, not mortgage. Do I still love him? No comment. Cheyenne, my bitch, what's good? We'll do. Okay, this is another thing. AK did not pay for my teeth. Everyone was like, oh, he paid for your teeth, this and that and that. He did not. This came out of my money. He was not like he gave me money. He was like, hey, fix your teeth. Like, that was something I did on my own. And I paid for it on my own. I've said that so many times, too. I've had a long journey with my teeth. Um, if you guys are new, um, my my one of my my older followers know um, I had a gap on my teeth. It's actually I have a um, on my vlog on my YouTube channel. You can actually see the video where like I get my teeth um, fixed or whatever. But I had a gap like right here, straight right here, and I went um, got my teeth fixed. And now I got oh, I got I have veneers porcelain veneer so you know i i had braces twice in my life so like one thing i've always wanted was perfect teeth so i you know went and i did that like let's go let's go <laughs> why would you ruin his relationship i just don't understand no real woman does shit like that for i don't know what you're talking about why would i ruin his relationship like you mean why he ruined our relationship he ruined us. He ruined us. I moved on. Me and AK were broken up once me and Tracy started talking. And me and Tracy, like, we weren't even, like, like that. Like, that. we were just, like, getting to know each other, you know, going on dates, hanging out, making music, like, you know, just being, like, just friends. And AK saw that one picture where I'm, like, on Tracy's back. And he just went crazy. Like, crazy. But 
what I don't understand that we were like on mutual understanding. He told me that he was talking to a girl. I walked in on him talking to a girl. I was happy for him. I was happy he was moving on. I wanted him to move on. I wanted him to be with somebody else. I wanted him to wife someone. Because it would have made it so much easier for me to move on. It just wouldn't make things so much easier for me. And that's what I wanted. And that's what I told him, like, we're done. Like, at the end of the month, I'm moving out. And that's what we were on. And now he went crazy once he saw that I was getting to know other people. And it was just a big show, big problem. And it was just super extra. And now he... He wants to work things out. He doesn't want me to leave. He wants me to stay with him. And it's like, I love him. I do. But. I don't think, I just don't think it's worth it. It's not worth it. A relationship. A relationship is just, it was just. It's just not worth it. I feel like if I got back with him, he would just be doing, he's not going to change. He says he's going to change and he promised me he's going to change, but he's done that to me before. And I'm just tired of like falling for his tricks. Like not anymore. I need better. I need to do better. And I'm just, I can't just settle for, for less. I need more. <laughs> He'll change. I don't think so. I think he's set in his ways, and that's who he is. And I'm not that. So. So it looks like we're both wrong. Did I think he was attractive? Of course. Of course. If I didn't think he was attractive, I wouldn't be with him. I don't know. I I must see shit differently. I see shit differently from like a lot of people. My definition of beauty is different from a lot of people's. Guys, let's take a picture. Say cheese. Let me show you guys what y'all looking like. Y'all looking cute. Let's take one more. Smile. Okay, I'm gonna stop being corny. <laughs> That's your block camera? Yes, it's my block camera. It's a Canon G7X. It, it's really cool. If you want to, like, start doing YouTube videos, I recommend this camera. This would probably be the best camera you could get. And, like, the screen actually, like, goes up like this. So if you want to record like that, for example, let me turn it on. So you want to cord like this. 
can. It's it's great. But the only thing I would recommend, like, if you do, like, try not to look, like, when you're talking to it, try not to look at that top screen. You want to look at, like, the lens. So that way, like, the video, you're going to be, like, looking up like that instead of, like, you know, into the audience. Everyone's asking if everything you own is AKs. I know, it's... AK did not buy this camera. I bought this camera. Like, you guys. Yo, I feel like he put that narrative out to make it seem like he just owns me. Like, oh, she don't pay for this and this. I do that for her and her. Like, I own her. That's basically, like, how these made it sound. Like, I own her. You don't own me. Like, I paid for this on my own. Like, this is, like, an $800 camera. Like, I did this on my own. Like, I'm not broke. I'm not fucking broke, like, come on, like, and I feel like it's so dumb that I, like, I really don't even care, even if I was broke, who fucking cares, there's nothing wrong with being broke, what's wrong with being broke, if I, okay, I'm broke, now what, I'm broke, now what, I'm broke, what's up, did I die? Air still free. What's good? See y'all. There's nothing wrong with being broke. Like who cares? See, you guys are better off thinking that I'm broke. That way, like I don't get robbed. Like nobody's gonna rob me now. Everybody be like, yo, she's broke. Like let's rob AK, not her. Like she's broke. Shit, fuck it. Yo, I'm gonna be smart. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm broke. I'm broke. Like, I'm broke. And I'm not, I'm not sorry because there's nothing wrong with being broke. What's, honestly, what is wrong with being broke? Like, I'm broke, okay? <laughs> just saying, like, come on. <laughs> you live in the same place he gets robbed you get robbed <laughs> be smart go with the flow say I Angelica am a broke Hater, stop hating. Everyone acting like they're rich, right? Yo, like I bet the same people that's on my live calling me broke are broke, and there's nothing wrong with it. We can be broke together. There's nothing wrong with being broke. I mean, like we good like you guys you're broke you still got wi-fi watching my live i'm broke i still got wi-fi watching live like we good <laughs> let me be broke let me be broke in peace <laughs> is tracy broke no Tell them to put their eight hundred dollar camera on live. <laughs> Yo, like legit. You guys really be playing me. It is whatever. I don't care. I don't care. There's nothing wrong with being broke. It's not really a diss. Who cares? Sarah, what's good? You can't call no shots and be broke. Who cares? Like, who says that? Like, you can call shots and be broke. Like, come on now. I know a lot of broke bosses. You know? It's whatever. It's whatever. I don't care. You know, never once did I ever say I was rich. 
ever. I feel like that's that's like an ang- like if you want to call someone broke, like call someone broke that's flexing like they rich. I don't ever flex like I'm rich. I don't ever flex like yo like like with money shit and bullshit like that like never ever like I'll fuck around and like throw cash and shit you know but I'm not broke like I got hella ones you know but I don't really care you know like who really cares like is this is you know what this is like we can't let this shit fucking define us like this shit